in my view of top end quarterbacks, I think that if you put them on any other team, they'll find a way to make that team better. And I, but he, but he wouldn't make other teams better because you, you just said if you put him on any other team, he would make them better. He wouldn't make any other team better. He wouldn't. Because we're just talking about, does he make the Packers better? And you went, oh, well, Aaron Rodgers is one of the best. Yeah. So, no. So, your answer, you can just say no, and that's okay. Just say no. There's only two teams. I think he can make, I think he could play just as good as Patrick Mahomes can does, with the team does, that he had. Does he, what do you, if you put him on the Bills, does he make the Bills better, or is Josh Allen better? Honestly, I, I think Derek Carr is right there with Josh Allen. I just don't think he gets Josh, the credit. I mean, Josh Allen is doing Josh, things and making, yes, making but, that Bills team so much better. And he has Josh Allen better. has be, has had better weapons than Derek Carr's ever had. Come on. What are you talking about? He would, don't he bring up Darren Waller because Darren Waller, had, when he does play, he's he, not 100% he healthy. Had, but he had nothing until Diggs was there. He's only had Diggs for one season. Oh, Diggs Allen has been there for three seasons, years. Two seasons. And, Almost and, three and, years and, now. And Josh Allen's skill set is much better. Josh Allen can run. Josh like, Allen's so numbers when Diggs wasn't there was not great. Okay? Was and not. That team wasn't great. And Derek there. Carr, if you look at his numbers even without quarter, uh, without wide receivers, they were good. He, he should have won the MVP before he tore his ACL. 2016, yeah. He would have won was, the MVP. Right, was right who, was he throwing, who was he throwing to? It was Amari Cooper and Michael Crabtree that year. And then I, I know I Amari, who Amari Cooper was wasn't 100% healthy don't, that don't year. Don't get the right. beef riled up. That's the great Amari Cooper. <laughs> no, Amari Cooper wasn't 100% healthy that year. I think he played nine games yeah, or ten games that year. like that, yeah. He didn't even play that no, year. No, that was sure. Crabtree's year. That was his best year. And I'm, forget, and I'm forgetting the stretch that he was there, but Deshaun Jackson was also there for, for a stretch. He was there. only there for a little bit last year. He wasn't there for 2016. He was not, he was not there in 2016. I mean, what, 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 what Derek Carr did that year was f- sensational, and, and he got that money at the end but, of the year, if listen, you remember. You're, 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 you're taking this sideways, because I already said that I agree I know you what about, you said. About Derek Carr. He would make a lot of places better. There's also a bunch of places he doesn't make better. Again, I don't know, you know, if I put him over there in KC or I put him over there in, you know, New York on any of the New York teams or Miami. Is, is it, But I do – I've seen enough of Derek Carr, what I've seen with the players that he's thrown to, where he has played well and he has dominated. And I, there are other – Kyler Murray, you put him on any other team right now. Do I think he can win with them? Yes, because of his ability and his talent. The only thing that what, scares me – underhanded interceptions in his own oh, end zone? Come on. You, are you talking about the playoffs? Are you talking about that game? Come on, jo- I, Jeff. I mean, he got, I mean, he was a deer in headlights, no? I'm sorry. What, did Carl, what is Carl saying right now? But why do you know for some teams but not for others? Again, Derek, I'm not sitting here. I brought up a conversation, Carl. It's not something that I was thinking about going scoping through teams. What I have seen, Carl, on what Derek Carr has done on the teams that he has been on, good and bad, that he has made everybody around him better. He's been, he's been a really good player. Here's the problem with that. There's been other guys – that have had equally as crappy weapons as he's had, and they've consistently made the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Okay, he give me a team. Give me a it. give me a quarterback. Russell Wilson. He's Russell. Done, he's done. He's done really well with crappy weapons. Uh, Russell Wilson won that Super Bowl because of their defense. Let's and, and a running back that ran over people. All right. Let's not get into Russell Wilson and why he won that title. It had nothing to do with Russell Wilson. Nothing but to do Russell with him. Russell Wilson has performed terrifically. Okay. With crappy. With okay. Crappy okay. Before. Since that Super Bowl that they won and going to the Super Bowl that they should have won, which, by the way, even in which that, they didn't. Which they, they, didn't. they didn't win. And 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 the reason why they they got to that Super Bowl was because of their defense and uh, Marshawn Lynch. If you remember that, yeah, I think he had fourteen, fifteen hundred yards. Marshawn and he, Lynch was the yeah. He, he was, was a beast. Terrific. Right. Okay. Right. All right. right. Ever right. since right. then, when those guys were gone and that defense was gone. What did Russell Wilson do? What did he do? What did Russell Wilson? What did do? he do, dude? He's been an All Pro quarterback. That's like, great, great. And league. look at the look at the wide receivers he has thrown to. Tyler Lockett. He's he's terrible. Is he that bad? No, I think you know he's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay, uh, how about the guy that they have on the other side? Is he is he pretty good? DK Metcalf. Yeah, you don't even like. DK I don't Metcalf. like him. I don't like him. But, but everybody know. considers him. Everybody considers him you good. Know. Everybody considers you him good. I don't. I don't. Right, but the, but this but right, but hold on. This is this is what you do, right? You go, well, everyone else considers him good, so he must be good. And then when someone else makes a point, you'll go, that's not true. He's terrible. No, I don't. No, I don't. Jeff, it's not show. true. You bringing this is so funny. When I say something on this show, and I get attacked for what I say, I take back. I have taken back. When I attack you for saying something, you never take back what you say. 
You That's sit there and you attack me again. I, I hate Michigan. Yeah, well, great. <laughs> you hate Michigan. What is Carl done? Carl, you say, what is Carr done? Again, I'll go back to Dan Marino. Dan Marino was one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. What did he do? What did he do? Did he win a Super Bowl? Look, my only point was you cherry pick. This is this is the problem. You That's cherry any pick. sports radio show. Yes, uh, no, I cherry no, no, pick. No, no. And I attack no, right. my teams. Right. No, no, no. And you did a good job of pointing out the terrible teams that if Derek Carr went to, he would make them better. And I'm agreeing, in agreement with you. But saying that he's elite, I think the elite guys can go anywhere and make that team as good, if not better, right? Because if Brady and Rogers switched, I think that's kind of a push, like an equal kind of lateral move, mm-hmm. right? Like, if you're elite, you go everywhere and make them better. Derek Carr doesn't do that. You can't put Derek Carr on Green Bay and say that he would be he would have them play it better than Aaron Rodgers has him playing. That he's not elite. Carl says Russell Wilson made the playoffs and won since the last time you discredited the Super Bowl appearances. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. Since 2015, which is, I think, the first year where he became the main focal point of the offense because Marshawn Lynch was hurt a lot that year, and he had that big second half. He has he, never been to an NFC title game where he was the focal point. No. He, never. They have won one playoff game, and that was against the Lions. So not really a great Please. resume on that. Please. And I'm not saying that De- Derek Carr is Russell Wilson. I'm not saying that. No. But I, I'm saying... I when I look at elite, okay, and I'm not uh, okay. My my word for elite is is that I if I took ten players, ten quarterbacks in this league, I'll take any one of those ten quarterbacks. Now, obviously, Would you Tom consider thirty three percent of something elite. In my words, because because even with elite, doesn't mean that having an elite player right. make helps you right. win. But it- Elite is rare. Elite is is rare. So I would say elite is top Speedy. Five. Do me do, look up the def- definition of elite All in right. every kind of way. Okay. Okay. Because elite's the pinnacle. Elite's the top of the tippity top. Elite uh, meaning. I got your brain in such a blender. You're going hey, to son. Website All right. To Oxford Language Dictionary definition: mm-hmm. a select group that is superior in terms of quality, ability, or quality to the rest of a group or society. Right, to the rest of the group, which Derek Carr is not because he's not superior to the rest of the group because there's other teams he goes to that he wouldn't make better. (laughs) So he's not superior to them all. So he's not elite by definition. Thank you, Oxford. Okay. There are other things. Now and sometimes functional, uh, the most powerful, rich, gifted, educated member group, community, et cetera. He's dumb as a rock, so he's not <laughs> smart or gifted. He's dumb as a rock. He, first of all, you're not going to convince me anyone that went to Fresno State is gifted. He's dumb as a rock. Ah. Okay, oh, who makes Denver better, Wilson or Carr? I don't know. Uh, actually, I w- in, in that offense, I I would start pushing towards Carr. I, I, I want to see what Wilson could do in how an about, offense how like about that. I, how about I, instead of the A, B option, how about I give you a C option? Who mm. fucking knows? Because they're always so hurt at receiver, maybe no one can help them be better. Mm. Well, Russell Wilson, I would say, I, he's very scheme-proof because how often Seattle changed their coordinators and all that. Yeah. But Because I, I don't trust Nathaniel Hackett as a head coach, really, but... Derek Carr has also done that too with interim coaches, with all the whole John Gruden debacle, with them rebuilding the way they did in 2018, and had those they traded pretty much everybody. It just really started from scratch. I would say about three years ago, before he tore his ACL, people were saying he was a top five quarterback in the league. Let's let's, let's be fair to Drew Locke in this situation. I realize he's not elite or in this conversation or whatever, no. but let's just be fair to Drew Locke for one second. Okay, Drew Locke was in a fight with one hand tied behind his back mm-hmm. because all of those receivers in Denver were all hurt all the time. Cortland Sutton, a hundred torn ACLs. Jerry Judy got a hangnail and he sat out for weeks. Um, uh, uh, Deshaun Hamilton mm-hmm. always hurt. Mm-hmm. So how was anybody supposed to look like anything? Like we, we don't know what that Denver offense is or isn't because they're always hurt. Again, and I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue with the points that you made over there because you're right on a lot of things that you have said. And everybody keeps saying. Obviously, we know Carl doesn't like Derek Carr because he's trying to find any possible way to say that he's not anywhere close to elite. And that's your opinion. My well, opinion Derek is Carr's leaning towards elite just because he didn't go to Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you look at his not. All right, I, I'm just I'm just looking at straight up numbers. His first his first four years were right. fantastic. They were fantastic. That, 
That's that's terrific. But you went to the definition because you were like confused about it. Mm -hmm. And now that you got the definition of what elite is, it ain't Derek Carr. He's not he doesn't anywhere he went, he wouldn't make them better than some of these other guys. All of the guys that would go to any team and improve them are the elite ones. Speedy, do me a and favor. And that ain't Derek Carr. Look at Tom Brady, Tom Brady's first eight years as a quarterback. Look at Aaron Rodgers' first eight years as a quarterback. And look look at those guys. I, I, I want to see their first eight years and compare them to Derek Carr's first eight years. Okay? I just want to look make sure at you th- it. Make sure yeah. you throw in... Make sure you throw in three Super Bowls that, for Brady. That's fine, but it wasn't only Brady that did it. Okay. Oh, so now it's not only no, Brady that did it. No. But you, not, that, the two I, Super I Bowls that they won, first I, of all, you know what I feel about all, them. They won three in his first, in his all first right. eight years. And two of them were really all about the defense. It wasn't about the offense. All right, Tom Brady, so 2001 to 2009. This was, this was, I just want to know the numbers. 225 touchdowns, 99 interceptions. In the first eight years? Yeah, the first eight years starting. He didn't start at 2000. Okay, so I didn't okay. 225. Kinda, he missed half of the season. All right, what's fine. Okay. 38,000. So did Derek Carr. He missed the whole season. 38,000. 30,838 passing yards, completing 63.4% of his passes, and a quarterback rating of 93.4. Okay. So Derek Carr, his first eight years, 31,700, 193 touchdowns. How many? 85 interceptions. And the completion is uh, passing rating 92.4. So I worse. Mean, th- what are you talking? They're almost so identical. So, so They're almost, almost identical. identical. Almost identical isn't identical. And oh, you're stop, and, hold Jeff. On, hold on. And you're forgetting the other number. The Super Bowls. Let's go. The Super Bowls. No, 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 no. Let's not even All just right. do Super Bowls. Right. Playoff victories. How many playoff wins? Let's let's throw playoff stats in there. Not just regular season stats. Throw How many coaches did Derek Carr have so far in eight years? Uh, stop at least terrible. at least three, maybe four. I'm four. trying to think. Yep. I'm trying to four. think if there was yep. anyone before four. Del Rio. Right. And how many coaches right. did D- Tom Brady have One. in eight <laughs> years? And, 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 and gra- arguably know. the greatest Hold coach on. of all time. Hold on. Do you do you want to know a lot of that has to do with mm. what winning? When your quarterback wins, your coaches don't get fired. Uh, you know, also it has so something Derek to do with their defense, which was a top so, five defense so for like Derek six Carr out of those eight years. So Derek Carr is responsible for shit canning four coaches. How many coaches did Brady shit can? Carpenter just hit another home run. None. Way. I'm just saying, Carpenter, None. Matt Carpenter hit a two run home. None. Home. No right. coaches shit canned because of Brady. Zero. Squad douche. Okay. Squad douche. Er- Aaron, no. Aaron Rodgers, eight years, 2018, 2008 to 2016, 296 touchdowns, 71 interceptions, completing 65.2% of his passes, 36,498 passing yards, <laughs> and a QBR of 104.5. But this is what's funny about this. You're going to numbers now, and, and this is why you're such a numbers monkey, and I make fun of this whole thing. Yeah, right? God. It's because now you're trying to go to numbers to compare the two when even you are admitting if you put Derek Carr on the Packers, he makes them worse. Because it's Aaron Rodgers. I, I can't really, you know, Wait, argue so just, that. So just say you agree and move on. No, because I don't. I don't. Because I, I, besides Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady, I think he's as good as any quarterback in the well, league. You, well, you open this can of worms, Speedy. Go back to Oxford. Give me the definition of elite one more time because I don't think Errol quite heard it. You have to be as good or better than the rest of your peers. A select group to, that is superior in terms of ability or quality to a the select rest of a group, group. Of group of society. Right, of group. Right, right, that is of superior quality to your peers as speedy. And is he of superior quality to Aaron Rodgers or Tom Brady? The answer is no. Not elite. Thank you, Oxford, once again. because you're So you're saying there's only two elite quarterbacks in the whole NFL? Go anywhere and make any team better. All right, that's two. That's two. That's two. Right. Yeah, That's true. Probably Patrick. Probably Patrick. Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes will not do that. I, I want to see what do. I want to see probably. Patrick Mahomes this year okay. without Tyreek Hill okay. and a worse offensive line. Let's see what oh, they oh, do this year. Well, well, there's another. Well, there's other guys out there. Probably. I think. Uh, listen, the two years off is going to be a thing. But I think until this point, we agreed that Deshaun Watson probably could go anywhere and make that team better. Probably. But we still probably. don't know for that. We don't well, know that for okay, sure. Well, Right, but until he proved that's a wrong, plate in that two was years. Still, our opinion of it, correct? I would say so. Yeah, yeah. I think most okay. people thought so, of it as top five. Right. Yeah, right. Would, would, you, would you agree, Matthew Stafford, if he went anywhere, makes them better? Yeah. So there's another one. Would you agree anywhere Russell Wilson go, he makes them better? I don't to know. Be determined. 